So let's say you have a blog with multiple different categories. Um, so you have a blog archive page that has events on it, has helpful tips, news. Uh, maybe you have a cooking recipe uh, website that has different categories, cheese, coffee, spirits. And you want to have a blog page for all those categories, but you also want to have different blog archive pages for your news category. Or maybe your events category. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And it's pretty simple. Um, first, let's look at some examples. So this is a charity and uh, they have a blog archive page for all of their topics and it's organized by date but they also have um, an option for just their news and events. So in this situation they have two blog ar archive pages and then in this example they have different blog archive pages for cheese, they have different a different one for wine, These are all different categories of their blog. Now to create the, the blog archive page, I've created another video. You can check that out, but uh, I'll explain quickly. You create, a, you go to your template theme builder and Elementor and you go to archive. And from there, you create a uh, add new archive and you design it. And from and you and you uh, once you publish it, you set it to all archives. And uh, from there, what I did is, um, I found my the blog page where I had uh, all of my categories listed. So this is my blog archive page that I created through the the template. And one thing to note is these these blogs they need to be blog posts. They cannot be the blog archive uh, widget. They have to be the blog post widget in Elementor. So that's something to keep in mind uh, for organizing categories. So if I click the, the pencil button here, you'll see it's a post widget. Um, yeah, so it's not this one, it's this one. It's not this one, it's the posts. So that's uh, important to remember. So once I've built this template, uh, I simply just uh, went to the page, the blog archive, and I duplicated this. Now, WordPress automatically does not have a duplicate option for pages, so you can download a, plug a plugin for that. It's really simple. Just go to plugins, add new, and search for page. So you can search for page. Uh, usually automatically something simple will come up. Uh, duplicate page, yeah. So there's lots of different ones. I just go with the one that's the best rated and activate it that way. So back to the, the blog archive page, my landing blog page that has all the categories. I simply just duplicate it. So here it is, it's the draft one. And I go, uh, I'm gonna quick edit it, because let's just say I want events. I already have an event one, so I'll just call it event two. Yeah, events two, it's there, good, okay. So now I'm going to edit with Elementor. All right. And uh, I'm just gonna like, show you not I'm not going to show you how to do all the design but I would change the background image I would get rid of the text to say something else um, I'm going to delete the search bar I don't need that for this page I don't need the the categories either so all I'm gonna do now is just edit the blog post and I'm going to the most important part is to go to the query under content and we include by term 
And now we're just going to search for that category. And for this one, it's going to be events. So yeah, it comes up. And basically, that's it. You can style it like you want. I'm just going to add two columns. And you can change the background images and the text and then once you're done you just publish it and now you have um, a news a news blog archive page that only picks up the new or sorry the events blog page that only picks up events categories and you again you can do this you just duplicate the page the blog archive page you can now duplicate the events one if you like and just really you just go through the query and uh, make sure to search by the category that you want included yeah, so I hope this video was helpful, and uh, just remember that you have to use the, the post widget, and yeah, that's everything.